All right, as promised, in this video, I want to show you how to create a gradient. We learned in the last video how to pull gradients and some of the options that we have with the actual look of the gradient. Now we're going to learn how to add the color and add those individual gradients that we see up here in our gradient tools. All right, to access the gradient editor, we're going to click right in here. And if we hold there long enough, it'll say click to add the gradient, to edit the gradient, sorry. Click to edit the gradient. And in the gradient editor, you'll see all of your stored gradients. You'll have a place to name the gradient, create a new gradient. And down in this area is where we're going to actually add the color and edit the color. So these color stops slide. So at the bottom, we're going to add the color. And up at the top, up in this bar where you see these stops, this is where we're going to add transparency. And yes, you can add transparency to a gradient. We can look up here into some of the saved gradients that I have, and you'll see the checkerboard pattern back there, which indicates that we have transparency on that gradient. All right. Down here, we can slide these color stops and position color in different areas. And to add a color stop, all we have to do is click down here. It says click to add a stop. So I'll click to add a color. And then I can just come down here and um, choose either foreground color. Since I have red as my foreground, I'll choose foreground. So what this little checkerboard indicates is that that will be the color that's in your foreground if you choose to do so. Okay. Now if we want to just add a color, we can double click on this little color bar and choose a color. Now this color will be set at this color and won't have anything to do with that background or foreground color. All right. And now you see as I drag this color stop closer, my smoothness of my gradient changes. And that is controlled by this little slider here. So if I want a real hard edged transition from this color to here, I'll drag it closer to my color. And to add more color stops, we can just double click right here on the actual color stop and I'll come over here and select the color. And once again, we can drag these smooth transition points to either make a smooth edged or hard edged. Okay, I am going to save this gradient. I like it. So up here, I'm going to call this gradient blue, maybe. And I'll click new. And by clicking that new button, it saves it into your gradient selection. So if you want to call this up again, you certainly can. All right, let's go ahead and delete these. I'm just going to drag, click on them and delete them down, start over. Center. And, I can, and you'll see as I drag this little bar, we have lo little location indicators. You can enter the numbers. So if I have this all the way down and I want it to be 50%, all I have to do is come in here and type in 50% tab, and that point will be exactly at 50%. So we're going to have a nice smooth transition from blue to 50%, and then from 50% it's going to go to this greenish blue color. All right, transparency. Up here, our opacity, we have 
And here we have 100%. That's indicated by this black filled in area. If we want to add transparency, so we want to go from blue to transparent to this aqua color, we'll just create a color stop here. And once again, these color stops I can put at 50% just by typing in the numbers. And then I will come down here and just change the opacity to it. And we'll take that down to 50%. A little hard to get to 50%, so I can just type in the number. All right, and now you see the little checkerboard indicators. So we have blue, from blue 100% to 50%, and then 50% over here to 100%. We're going to have that opacity change. And I like this, so we'll call this uh, blue um, 50%, maybe. And we'll click on this new button. And there it adds it to our gradients. Pretty simple. And if we want to get rid of this opacity slider, all we have to do is just drag it up. All right, let's change this color. So I'll just double click on it. I get my color picker here. We'll choose red. And I'm going to click here, create another stop. I'll double click and I'll choose yellow. And what, like I said before, we can slide these. And if we want to duplicate a color stop, rather than clicking and then trying to you know, get that exact color, we can option drag these color stops and you see I just pulled that right over I'm just option dragging that to create that stop. Now I'm going to option drag this yellow to duplicate it and I'm just going to kind of jump over that blue and then I'm going to option drag this color I'm just going to kind of make a little option option drag Let's go from blue to yellow, to blue to yellow, to blue to yellow. Oops. Didn't get option held down soon enough. So we'll hold on option. And then hold on option and drag that like that. And once we have these stops created, then we can slide them and move them. We can move them closer if we want to. If I make that a hard edge, I like it. So I'm going to come up here and we'll call this uh, yellow stripey, yellow stripe, something like that. And we'll click the new button. And there we have our new gradient. Okay. And we also have, if you click on these color stops down here, there's a little delete button. A little bit too much back and forth for me. So I like to try to get you guys to just do the simplest, not going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So my technique would just be click on it, drag it down, click on it, and drag it down to eliminate it. And we also have these opacity bars, whereas if we click on them, you'll see opacity lines up and it has a little delete button. Click on it, delete, click on it, delete, or the quick way would be to just drag that um, opacity stop and just drag it up and you'll get rid of it. All right, I think that's about it. Uh, we have some uh, save features here. So if we wanted to save these gradients, um, Save gradient presets to a file. We can click on save, and it'll take us to where our save, uh, gradients are, are saved on our system. We would name it up here, and then that would be saved as a library for us to use. All right. I think that's it. Uh, this is a fun part of uh, doing gradients. You get to come in here and be creative with how you add your stops and delete and 
transparency or opacity. So play around with it, create several and get comfortable with it and you'll be an expert. See you next time.